ski racing is what I feel most fulfills me as a person. Skiing is the one thing that defines who I am. I enjoy it more than anything else. Skiing is who I am. The story of Lindsey Vaughn is the story of growing up in Flatlands, Minnesota and always wanting to be an Olympic champion and just every day working towards that one goal and I guess eventually accomplishing that goal. I grew up in Minnesota, you know, started skiing at Buck Hill when I was two and a half. I loved ski racing from the very beginning and I tried other sports, but you know, ski racing was always something that I loved the most and I was good at it, so I kept doing it. In middle school, I was I was homeschooled for two of the three years and high school, you know, I was doing Vail Academy and I was just constantly racing and I never got a chance to go to the prom. I never really went on any dates, you know, I was just kind of here and there but really nowhere, you know, I, I wasn't really involved in, in the kind of social life that you would have as a normal teenager. It was sad, you know, in some ways because I didn't experience that but at the same time, I mean, I traveled the world and I had so many great experiences ski racing that I, I definitely wouldn't trade that for anything. I mean, my first trip to Europe was when I was nine years old. I was without my parents, you know, I was with Eric Seiler's ski camp and my coach from Buck Hill and I loved it. My mind and my eyes were completely open. I saw so many amazing athletes training, you know, right next to me. I loved it, you know, it was such a great experience. I met Peekaboo at an autograph signing in Minnesota when I was nine and I was so in awe of her and I just said I want to be you you know and I was just smiling up at her and I I just remember so clearly her just being so nice to me and you know I hung up her poster and I just I looked at it every day and I said that's what I want to be I want to be an Olympic medalist if I hadn't met peekaboo I think I would have been less motivated at a younger age and I don't know if I would have been pushed enough to make the sacrifices I needed to make. When I was 16, I had a really, really hard year. I almost quit skiing because I didn't finish 50 out of 55 races. I was so confused as to what was going on and why I was not finishing, and it was really depressing, and it was like you just, you're falling and you couldn't get back up ever. And I finally made it through that season and I said, okay, I'm going to really refocus and I'm going to change my fitness program and I'm going to really do things differently and be dedicated and I'm going to get it done. And then the next year I had another good year, but it was that one season that I really had to question why I was still doing the sport. And it always comes down to the fact that I love ski racing. I love the sport more than anything and I'm willing to work as hard as it takes to be successful. I think that my hard work definitely has a lot to do with my success in the last few years. I think growing up it was more, I ha had talent I guess more than anything else and I didn't really have the physical fitness that I have now. But you know you come to a point where you can only go so far with talent and you have to step it up otherwise you know you're just going to plateau and never be better. Being number one is, it's hard to get there but I think it's even harder to stay there because everyone wants to beat you and so you know for me I just I always keep thinking of my competitors and what they're doing and that always motivates me to keep working harder to go the extra mile and really be in the best shape humanly possible. For me I think was the most defining point in my career was my crash in the Torino Olympics. I realized exactly how much I loved ski racing and, and how much I was willing to give because you know you, you don't realize how how lucky you are until the thing that you love is is gone and I honestly thought that I was my career was over that changed my whole mindset I will work as hard as it takes I will stay as many hours in the gym as I possibly can you know I I want to give everything I have while I have the chance before it's too late what's going through my mind when I'm in the start and when I'm skiing is something that's really automatic to me at this point. When I was younger, you know, I was always so overly focused on trying to make it to the next level and I think I was always too focused on that, but at this point now it's totally different. You know, when I'm in the starting gate, I'm thinking about almost nothing. You know, I'm trying to just relax and 
relax and yet be aggressive. For me, it's always a really fine line and a fine balance. And I, I want to be, you know, motivated and aggressive when I go out of the starting gate, but I also have to control my adrenaline because I'm always the kind of person that's antsy and itching to go and I have to kind of harness it and wait until they say I can go before I can really release that energy. I'm not afraid really of anything. I've never been afraid on skis ever. I started skiing downhill when I was like in Bale when I was 10 and I loved it. I just love going fast and I've, I've honestly never been afraid once. And that's why I have so many speeding tickets with my car. I think when you're crashing, you, there's no time to be afraid. I mean, I crash a lot. It's, you know, it's just part of the job. And I feel like if you're not pushing the limits and you're not crashing, then you're not going fast enough. I'm just not afraid. I don't know, I don't know how really how to describe it. I mean, I just, I see the line that I want to take and I don't really calculate risk. I always want to go faster. So I think that's also a flaw of mine. I don't necessarily see the risk and I don't see, well, if I take this turn in this way and I go this much faster, then I could crash and that would be bad. I don't think of it that way. I just think of that line is going to get me to the point and to the speed that I want and I'm going to take it. Before the Olympics, I think my biggest accomplishment for me personally was winning the overall title for the first time. The overall title is, is something that's, that's really difficult to win, not just from the skiing side of it, but from the mental aspect of it. You know, just having every single race the entire season uh, means so much and every point has enormous value. So it's psychologically for me that was the hardest test that I'd ever had before the Olympics, but you know, being in Vancouver and having that, that Olympic gold medal, it was a whole new level of pressure that I had never experienced before. Somehow I made it through and I, I think that one day signified for me every single thing that I've worked for for my whole life. I always dreamed about what it would be like. You know, I've dreamed about winning an Olympic gold medal since I was nine years old. But to actually stand up there on the podium and have an Olympic gold medal, it, it was so overwhelming. I mean, I'm sure you saw the interviews. I cried for hours. I just didn't expect that. I was so overwhelmed, and it was definitely so much more than I had anticipated. And I think now if you ask me today, you know, what's, what means the most to you in your career, it would definitely be that Olympic gold medal. Everyone has their own story. My story is still being written.